हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल असद इंटरनेशनल एकेडमी फर्स्ट टाइम इन 2021 टुडे आई एम हेयर टू एक्सप्लेन दैट हाउ टू टेस्ट द नल हाइपोथेसिस फॉर मीन व्हेन वेरिएंस इज ऑलरेडी नोन एंड इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल शो दैट प्रॉब्लम ऑफ हाइपोथेसिस टेस्टिंग व्हिच इज द व्हिच इज द टेस्ट ऑफ टू टेल आई एंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द लेक्चर्स ऑफ वन टेल एंड द थ्योरी ऑफ हाइपोथेसिस टेस्टिंग these lectures are available in description below the video you can also watch that and at end part of this lecture i will share you the gift you can say that the table of areas of standard normal distribution table you can uh, you can also take uh, you can also take the that table no so must watch this lecture from starting to end and don't skip any step so without wasting any time let's start the lecture so the problem is given already given here Uh, read the problem. Suppose that the mean mu of a random sample of x is unknown, but the variance for x is known. Here, variance is already given. You can say that sigma square. So here, at sigma square, which is the variance already given here, one double four, one double four. But you already know that you have to need just a sigma standard deviation. So you can take the Screenshot that uh, you can take the square root of that sigma is equal to to one. So here sigma is equal to twelve. Twelve plus the one forty four. And next step should we reject the null of that is mean forty five? And alternative is given here mu does not equal forty five. This is the test of two tail and alpha is zero point zero five and a random sample of sixty four. So here small n is equal to sixty four. Next. Uh, next observations at a mean of x bar is already given here. X bar is equal to twelve. Now following the steps, and I will share you the six steps to solve that problem of null hypothesis. So first of all, I am discussing here first step. So first step is given here null hypothesis and alternative. This is always remember that that is always the first step. So first step is given here. Null hypothesis mean is equal to one five. Mean is equal to one five. And already we given already here. Mean is does not equal to one five. Which I already there. This is the two tail. This is the two tail. This is the first step. And second step is given here. Alpha. Alpha is the level of significance which is given here zero point zero five. Next, the third step. Third step is the test statistic. Test statistic. Because in this case variance is already given, so this is the first case. So first case is given here. We use the formula z is equal to x bar minus mu. Divided by sigma over square root of n. And next, this is the third step. Fourth step is the calculation. Fourth step is the fourth step is the calculation. Now I'm going to calculate that value, putting all the values. So here, x bar is already given here, twelve. So put the value here, twelve minus, and mean is given here, one five. So put the value of one five here divided by sigma. Sigma is already given here twelve. Twelve divided by square root of n. N is given already here. Uh, and n is the sixty four. Taking the square root, n is the sixty four. Now solving that problem. Next will be here solving that twelve minus fifteen. So twelve minus fifteen will be minus three. And next here will be twelve and three. Next. That will be here sixty four. Sixty four square will be a a divided by twelve. Now solving that problem, you can write the problem minus three multiplied by a will be uh, upside by two by twelve. Now solving that problem, two was the two uh, two was the two two four the eight two six the twelve two two the four uh, two six the six. So cutting the three, you get the value for here minus two. So here is that calculated value is. Given here minus two, so I have solved the four steps 
now i'm going through here two step two steps is the meaning which is very very important for you i will calculate the table value of z test so now moving by five five step so moving here to here five step so five five step is the critical region you can say that rejection region a uh, critical region so in this critical region this is just like of uh, table because this is the two tail test because this is the h1 is the two tail test mean does not equal to 15 this is the two tail because this is the two tail test so here i will write here minus z alpha by 2 and i will write here z alpha by 2 plus because you already know that this is the minus infinity and this is a plus infinity this is the shape of normal distribution so how can we solve that problem or how can we get the now you have to calculate the z table value now you have to calculate the z table value next step is the five so table value calculation is very very easy so here the alpha is already given here 0.05 so first of all first step standard value is 0.5 i already discussed about that uh, this is the shape of normal distribution total area under normal curve is one must remember that total area under normal curve under normal curve is always one so this is the part of 0.5 and this half part is 0.5 adding to value you get the one so that standard value is 0.5 very very easy method to calculate the table value which nobody tells you about that standard value minus alpha by 2 minus alpha by 2 because it's the two tail test next will be here alpha by 2 so alpha is given here 0.05 so dividing the value alpha divided by 2 so taking alpha divided by 2 you get the value here now we will calculate 0.05 divided by 2 we get the value here 0.025 0.025 that's clear next step i put the value here just 0.5 minus alpha by 2 0.025 that's clear now 0.5 minus 0.025 0.025 we get the value here 0.475 and next step that's here next step we must remember that c you can say that was the value in the table of areas of standard distribution table which i have gave you at end part of the lecture you can get that table so that table is very very helpful and beneficial to use to solve the any problem of hypothesis testing so here just i have just here here short table because because that that's problem so here 0.475 is given here that value is 0.475 you have to just select the edges so edges given here 1.96 so that is a table value so there z table value is given here you can say that z table value is 1.96 so i hope that you gain a lot of points how to calculate the uh, calculate the value of z and how to test the value how to get the calculated how to calculate the, the value of table z test that's clear next step next step is given here z calculated value c shows here that the calculated value must be less than minus the alpha by 2 now i'm going to uh, now i'm going to next step which is the last step six step six step is the conclusion reject as not or accept as not so i'm moving my next step so here z capital value less than will be z alpha by 2 and next will be right here z calculated value must be greater than z alpha by 2 we already know that that is a rejection region and that also is a rejection region and that inner part is the acceptance region that inner part is the 
acceptance region. So here calculated value is given here minus 2, just put the value of minus 2, simply next minus z alpha by 2. So here z alpha by 2, which is the table value, z alpha, this is the z alpha by 2 value, which is the table value of z here 1.96. 1.96 that's here simply minus 2 next will be here z alpha by 2 1.96 now focus that point you don't know that you, you know the real mind you can make the real mind here 0 1 uh, 2 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so here focus here minus 2 is less than here minus but find approximate minus 2. So here minus 2 is given here is less than my minus 2 is less than uh, the minus 1 by 3. So this is the you can say that because this is less than so this will lie in rejection region. So this is the we put here reject as not. That's clear because minus 2 is less than that sign. So this is the reject as not. Now I check the case of that. So here given here minus 2 is given you already know that minus value negative value can never be greater than this the positive value so this goes this is no lies in rejection region this lies in acceptance region minus 2 is because is not is not greater than this so that will be put here accept as well so last step is the sixth step sixth step is conclusion so must remember that conclusion result will be reject as not. Reject as not. Now you have your question that how can we reject as not? Must remember that if you face any any problem, or first case is reject, a second case is accept, and similarly first step is step is accept, a second is reject. Conclusion must be reject as not. I must remember. And last point. If you face any or any problem, first is accept as not, and second is also accept as not, then conclusion will be then conclusion will be must remember that accept as not. Then conclusion will be accept as not, otherwise no. So must remember that if you have both reject then will be reject reject accept conclusion will be reject both accept then will be accept so that is a shortcut secrets and tricks which will be very very i hope that you gain a lot of points about this lecture thanks for watching the video if you like this video then can you must subscribe to my youtube channel and must press bell icon button to get any notification of my new lecture and now last point now i'm going to share you the table of areas of standard logic distribution table you can which is you can save that table you can take the screenshot that table which is coming now